Y'all ready? So we start, again, everything is done today for a minute. We're gonna jump right into it. There is no warm up. We're just moving right into some nice, gentle core activation. So we're doing our forearm press to plank. Toes are turned under. We're gonna be lifting, either coming to our knees or lifting and coming to the knees and then up off the knees, always coming right back down to this position. You're flowing through this for one minute. We are starting in three, two, here we go. We exhale, we round and lift. I'm gonna do a few reps, staying on my knees. You're following your breath, you're exhaling. Rounding the spine, inhaling, coming back down. Exhaling, rounding the spine, I'm trying to shorten the distance between your hips and your ribs. Beautiful work. If you want it to go from the knees up to the toes, once you're there, you lift, straighten those legs, and then place those knees back down. We want to try to push the elbows deep down into the floor, tucking the chin and looking at the belly button. I will almost never say tuck your chin, except for in this situation. It can really help us go into that perfect alignment. We have 10 more seconds. We'll be coming into a forearm plank or a full plank in three, actually in two. Go ahead and rest. You've got 10 seconds, so take a peek. We're going to be in a plank position. Hips are actually going to lower and raise. Okay? Three, two, here we go. So plank position. We lower the hips a little bit and then a big raise. Lower, raise. So we're not quite going to downward dog. So not quite as high there, Sam. Perfect. So a little lower and then squeeze and lift. Tiny lower. Whew, that's a big burn. If you need to, I want you to either just hold your plank position. You can drop down to the knees for a plank position. You can drop down to your forearms. We've got less than 30 seconds. We will give our core a break in just a moment. Hips lower about two inches, and then they rise two inches. They lower two inches, they rise two inches. We're never putting this into our back. Lower core lifts, you're knitting your lower ribs. We've got six, we've got four, Woo. three, two, and one. You're gonna take a band. We're placing it above the knees. We're going into a banded fire hydrant, alternating sides. Taking off in three, two, here we go. So you're lifting up and out to the side, alternating sides. Now I've got a hip sling on. I'm not going too high. Doesn't matter if you've got a hip sling or a mini band. What matters is that you're feeling your glutes helping to drive that band apart. You wanna brace your core. We've got about 30 seconds left right here. We'll be transitioning onto our back next, and that will complete our first round. 20 seconds. Hips stay level, as level as you can get them. Almost there. Spread that band apart. Big, strong lift. Brace the core as you separate the knees. We have three, we have two, one. We're on our back. I'm gonna try it with this band. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> We're going into, yep, it'll work. Single leg, knee drives. Here we go. So we start flat on the floor. We're gonna drive the knee, put the butt back down on the floor. We drive as we lift, rest back down. You're really spreading the band. You're not putting it into the low back. You've got a posterior pelvic tilt. Very good. Smooth drive, lower back down. Smooth drive, so good. Alternating sides, you want a little extra, you're gonna pause right at the top position. So good. Our focus again, in this one specifically, is your glutes. You've got less than 20 seconds. Smooth drive. Spread the band. 
Drive that knee, the lifted knee, towards the chest. You've got seven seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. I would leave your band on. We're going to flip on over and get ready for those forearm press to planks. We go in three, two, here we go. So we know now <laughs> what a minute feels like. So take your time. Exhale and round. Inhale, control it back down. Exhale and round. Inhale, control back down. I've been doing the first few reps here to my knees. In a moment, I'm going to show you again what it's like to come up off the knees. Same start. And then we lift. We lower down on our inhale. Full lift on that exhale. Inhale, lowering down. 15 seconds. You'll get a 10 second break as we transition to our plank hip lowers. Almost there. Push tall through your shoulders. Protract your shoulders. Three, two, and one. So quick little break. In about eight seconds, we're up in our plank position, either up on the palms or on your forearms. Hips lower towards the mat. Two. Here we go. So it's a two inch lower, strong plank. Two inch lower, strong plank. Nice and controlled. As you lift the hips, I want you to think, push the floor away and bring the ribs closer towards your hip bones. Modifications, you hold a plank position, either full plank or down on the knees. We have 30 seconds. You're squeezing your butt. Remember, we're not going all the way to downward dog. Lower those hips two inches, raise them two inches. Lower them two, and raise. 10 seconds. Come on. Beautiful work. We have three. We have two. And one fire hydrant. We'll go in seven seconds. That was wonderful. Should be feeling that right in here. Three, two, exhale and separate. Inhale it down, other side. Exhale, separate. Bring it back down. We have 50 seconds left right here. Try not to bring added tension to your shoulders. Hug the shoulders down the back. 40 seconds remain. Exhale and lift. Almost a little pause at the top if you're willing to go that extra distance. Come on. 30 seconds. Smooth lift, separate that band as much as you can. Let this be a core activity as well. So every time you lift, it's as if you're doing a crunch type motion throughout your core. Very good. Smooth lifts, belly is tight. We've got six, we've got five, four, three, two. We're on our back. These knee drives, glute bridge knee drive, drive your knee towards your chest. We take off in three, two, here we go. Quick drive, lower it back down. Little pause at the top if you want that little bit of extra work. Posterior pelvic tilt, really trying to get it into your glutes. Strong, smooth lift. You've got this, come on. Nice work. Quick, strong drive. Lower it down. Quick and strong. And lower. Come on. We have less than 30 seconds, just about 20. Separate the band. Nice work, come on. All of this, activation techniques. You can do it. You've got five. You've got four, three, two, and one. We will go through one more time. Starting in our forearm position. 
going in. Two. And here we go. I was a little late on that. Exhale. Inhale with control. Back down. Beautiful. Pelvic floor is drawn way up towards the belly button. Push those elbows down into the floor. I want these to be super slow. These should not be fast and jerky. Very, very slow. You want to increase the intensity here? Move slow. You've got it. 20 seconds. Remember, try to tuck the chin, the top position. Pull the core in. We've got seven. We've got five. Four. Three. Two. Take a rest. Get ready. Remember, it's plank position. Lower two inches back to a plank. Three. Two. Here we go. So we start in a plank. Lower two inches. And then lift. Lower. And lift. This should not go into the low back. You're still keeping the core on. If we take a peek real quick, we're not saying that we're coming here, right? We're not lowering that much and putting it into the low back. We're just lowering the hips two inches and then pulling them back up. Shoulders are super strong. Lower core pulls up and in. You all still have that band on. Go ahead, separate the band with your knees. Think of rotating the inner thighs up towards the ceiling as you press that band out. 15 seconds. You can do this. You're so strong. We have 10. Nice work. We have 5. We have 3, 2, and 1. Oh, those get hard. All right, fire hydrant. Going in 5. Belly still pulls in. Two. Here we go. Exhale and lift. Inhale it down. Exhale and lift. Now, how much are you swaying side to side? Can you stay centered as you go for these abductions? Very, very good. I like to exhale as I lift. I've trained myself to pair my exhale with a tightening of my core. So as I'm lifting, I'm bracing my core, preventing any side to side movement. We've got less than 30 seconds. Please try to relax your traps. Those shoulder muscles, upper back muscles, they can tune, tone it down a little bit. Less than 15. Very, very good. We'll go on to our back next, one last time for our single leg. Glute drive. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, one more time. On our back, quick, powerful drive. Going in three, two, here we go. Quick drive. Lower it down. Breathe. There you go. Quicker drive. You're an athlete. How fast can you drive? And then can you find stability? Nice work. Smooth drive. Control it down. Nice work. Just about 30 seconds left. You can do this. If you wanted to make this harder, if we were going for more strength, we could add weight to our hips or weight to the band, or sorry, a band to your hips, anchoring the hips to the ground. That one is a little bit more tricky. 15 seconds. Almost there. Keep driving. We'll get a tiny break for water in five, in four, three, two, one. Go ahead, take a tiny little break. We're just going to grab a sip of water. Leave your band nearby. We're going to go into some isometric work. You know what my favorite drink is? Lemon, Himalayan sea salt, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. Oh, 
So good. So good. All right. So like I said, we're going to get into some isometric work. Isometrics are you holding a position. We ain't doing no movement. We are just active and we are holding. Our goal is to be in a bridge for three minutes. Yes, you heard that right. Three minutes. While we're in that bridge, we have our band on. If one band is not enough, say you have just a mini band. If you've got two mini bands, you could put one above the knees and one below. That will intensify what you are doing, okay? If you've got a hip sling, I'd say right above the knees is probably fine. We're gonna come into our glute bridge and I'll talk you through. We got three minutes here and then we go into something else. All right, so we're flat on our back. Don't lift off yet, spread your toes. Toes are spread, feet are hip width apart. Separate the band. We've got constant tension pressing out. Let's bring a little bit of attention to our core. I want you to start to tuck the pelvis. So feel as if your tailbone almost rolls off the floor. From there, I want you to roll the hips up and only be about an inch off the floor. No higher than an inch. We are just hovering. You're pressing the band out. If you felt you needed to, you could take the feet a little bit wider, but don't let the toes turn out. Toes stay straight ahead. We're still just one inch off the floor. Very, very good. We're here for still about 30 more seconds, then we will raise another inch. We will be going up an inch a minute. So your third minute, we are the highest that will be. When we are at the highest, we are not putting it into our back. You've got about 15 seconds left right here. Check in with your core. Do you feel it? Has it gone soft? See if you can bring a little bit more tension into the core again. Just so you know, let's hold for a second. We'll go up an inch in three, in two, raise an inch. Okay, you should be getting a decent burn at this point, right? Really think about squeezing the glutes, spread the band an inch further out. Our second minute is on. We think about the core for feeling it and it's soft just so you know it is a little bit more difficult to bring like a strong bit of tension into the core when we're in this position so it's not going to feel as rock solid as it can but there should still just be a general sense of engagement spread that band keep that pressure going you've got about 30 seconds left right here and then we've got one more inch do you feel that burn? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, isn't it sweet? Doesn't it feel so, so good? This will help us stay super active when we get into our next set. We're gonna raise an inch in about 20 seconds, less than. It'll be our final lift. Holy shit, does that burn. <laughs> We're gonna raise up in five, in four, three, two, raise it up, woo! Stay in it, we've got one inch here, or sorry, one minute right here. You're doing great, keep spreading the band with your knees. We will be taking the band off. Nope, yeah, yeah, we'll take it off for a second after this. You're doing great. If you aren't stressing too much, feeling it in the back, you can't maintain this position, you can of course lower the hips back down to the floor, rest for a moment, and then come back up. We've got about 30 seconds left. Spread the band. You're so, so strong. Do you have an equal contribution happening from both sides of the body? Right and left, are they equal or is one taking over? You've got 20 seconds. That burn is real, stay with it, come on. Tuck the pelvis, tuck, tuck, tuck. Almost there, squeeze, I know it burns, you've got 10. Core stays active, spread the band, come on. We've got five. We've got four, three, two, slowly, woo, 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 lower down, bring those knees into your chest, give it a little side to side rock, that was real, damn, <laughs> all right, <laughs> that was torturous, I'm sorry, but it was really good, it was really, you all did great, okay, it hurts, <laughs> all right, we will use a band after something like that though, you might need to go to a lighter band because now they're like, they're turnt. I perhaps, or I specifically am going to a lighter band. We're gonna be doing a minute of side to side banded squats. So 
Easiest position. Band is above the knees. A little bit harder, it's right below the knees. I'm not gonna say put it at the ankles. I don't think anyone needs to put it at the ankles. I am not gonna be holding weight. You have an option to hold weight right at your chest. We are gonna come into a squat and you can move with me. We take off in three, in two, here we go. So lower into a squat. Doesn't need to be your deepest squat. From here, you're gonna to step to the side and now you're gonna step back. Notice my feet never actually come together. And then notice that I stay in what I call a cowboy position. Cowboy being you got something in between your legs, right? You're straddling something. The knees never turn in like this, ever. We're always driving them out. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the rest of the body line. So anytime we're in this position, hips are back, we're in what we call a hip hinge. We are not loading our knees. This would be loading the knees. We want to think knees stay back. We have a less than 20 seconds left right here. We will switch out of glute work and go into a little bit more core work in seven seconds. Spread the band. Beautiful work. We have three. We have two. And one. Come down to a plank position, taking your band off. We will work as the clock goes. In your plank, three, two. So plank position, you're gonna take your left leg, tap it through to the right. You're gonna lift and pull it back. We aren't just kicking. We are trying to lift with control and lift it back. Why? Well, because <laughs> it's harder. When we lift, especially out here, we are training our inner thigh our adductors. We're always coming back to a super strong plank position. If you needed to, I'll demo here on the forearms. Same thing happens. You're gonna kick the leg through, lift it and pull back. You've got 20 seconds left. I think it's easier up in a full plank position. There's a little bit more room to work with. Equal pressure through your hands. We'll be getting a heavier weight in three, in two, one. Now when I say heavier, I'm using 30 pounds. You can use 20, 10, just preferably not five. We're starting down in this position. Clock is on. All right, from here, hip hinge. You're lifting an inch, putting it back on the floor. Lift an inch, put it back. So hopefully, in this position, what you're feeling is your glutes turn on to help you lift, turn off to help you lower. They turn on to help you lift, turn off to help you lower. Little lift, lower it back down. You're driving your knees out, perfect. Your back is as flat as can be. If you need to bend your knees more to make that back become flat, you need to go there. You have about 15 seconds left. These are what I call kettlebell liftoffs. They are a great tool to feel what it's like to have the glutes drive the movement. Core is braced, we have three, we have two, and one, perfect. No band, just for experimentation, come onto your back. We're coming into our bridge, two and one. One minute, no band. Can you elicit almost the same reaction that you had after three minutes? Is it gonna be as intense? No. But what we're trying to do is train the brain to get those glutes to fire up right away. So imagine the band is there. You're pressing the band out. You've got your posterior pelvic tilt. You're scooping your pelvis. You've got about 30 seconds left right here. Spread your toes. Push into the whole foot. You've got 25 seconds, core is active. Really intensify that squeeze. We'll be starting over from the top with our side to side squat. We'll have 10 seconds to get into it. If that one band wasn't enough for you, either double up or try your hip sling. After round one, I feel I need a little bit more so I will go to my hip sling. Two and one, roll it down. Get your band on. Getting ready for side to side. 
in three, in two, here we go. Active core, hips go back. We step side to side, beautiful. There we go. Most important thing here, I can't stress this enough, your knees are not turning in. They're either straight ahead or you envision that your kneecaps are pointing out. Very, very good. Also super important, your core is active. You've got about 30 seconds left. We'll go into that plank position with a strong, lifted kick through, trying to target inner thighs and your obliques. Nice work. Remember everyone that these workouts are always filmed. You're not filmed. But I do post them to YouTube. This is a great workout to come to, say on a recovery day, or if you feel like you need a little tune-up. You're forgetting, good. Take your band off, get into your plank position. Great for tune-ups, so how do I kind of reconnect with my core and my glutes? Plank position, here we go. We lift, tap it out, lift it back. Tap it out and bring it back. Lift and pull. You can do it. Remember, you can come down to your forearms if you need to. Belly is pulled in. It's really difficult. Come on. You got it. Pull through. About 30 seconds remain. Nice work. 25. Use your inner thighs. Lift and pull. 20. So strong. Come on. Almost there. Glutes are working still to stabilize. You can do it. Eight. Nice work. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Kettlebell lift off. Back is flat. Three, two, here we go. We squeeze and lift. Drive your knees out. Knees should be wider than hip width. Pull the shoulders down your back. Belly pulls in. If we're thinking about weight distribution, I for sure want all your toes on the floor, but it might be helpful to think of sitting back into your heels a little bit more. Drive those knees out. Lift and rest. Lift and rest. Core is active. We have 25 seconds. Little lift. Bring it down. Torso doesn't lift at all. It is anchored into place. It is simply your glutes activating that gives you that lift off. 10. Come on. You have five. Four. Three. Two, one, weight off to the side, single leg, glute bridge. Whatever leg you want, we've got one minute. I'm gonna cross my ankle over the top of my knee. Three, two, we lift. So like I said, I cross my right ankle over the top of my left knee. You could also come into this position, which we had done earlier. Either works. Truthfully, I just did both of them. I think I feel a little bit more with my knee lifted towards my chest. So that's where I'm going to keep it. It's always good to explore. Just because that's what I feel does not mean that's what you'll feel. Most important piece, you're feeling that working glute stabilize you. Take a peek at your hips. We want them to be level. You have 20 seconds left right here. We will not do the other side. We'll stand up, go through the whole set, and then finish on the other side. Oh God, what's it gonna feel like if you're out of balance? <laughs> you got it, five, four, three, two. Woo, very good. All right, quick turnover. We're gonna put that band on. Four seconds before we go. Side to side in the squat. Here we go. Stepping, beautiful, very good. Just doing a quick little time check here. We are golden. So, so good. This is our last time with this. Remember, if you wanted to increase your intensity, 
you could hold the weight right here at your chest. I would say you could also increase your intensity by moving faster. To me, that detracts from what I'm trying to focus on. But if you have the capability of staying active in your glutes and moving a little bit faster, by all means, go for it. Mindful movement. 20 seconds. 15. Drive the knees out as we're getting fatigued here. It gets harder and harder. You might need to take a smaller step. You've got eight seconds. So strong. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Man, that one side that did the blue bridge. <laughs> really fatigued. Plank position. Working on our core. Two. Here we go. Sneak the leg through. Tap it down and pull back. Work the inner thighs, work your obliques. Hips can pivot and lift. Come on. Hug the shoulders down. No unnecessary tension in those upper traps. Come on. About 30 seconds. You can do it. Come on, we have 20. Ooh. Remember, you can always just hold the plank if you need to, 15. Less than 10, you can do it, come on. We have four, we have three, two, one. Last time on our liftoffs. Going in five. Feet are hip width apart, back is flat. Three, two, here we go. Anchor the shoulders down the back, lift off, put it down. Drive your knees out. Anchor the shoulders down the back. Pull the shoulders back, Caitlin, you got it. Breathe. Nice, Angela. Very good. We have 30 seconds. Think of actively pushing the floor away. Knees stay back. Come on. We have 20 seconds. Push, push. Come on, push the floor away. Core stays braced. Sam, pull those shoulders back. Lower your knees. Lower your hips. I mean, there we go. 10. Beautiful work. Head neutral. We have five. We have four, three, two, one. All right, the other blue bridge. Getting ready. Woo! Three, two, and we are up. All right, we got one minute. As active as can be, hips are level. We're breathing. Going for a decent little burn in that working glute. Very good, everyone. Posterior pelvic tilt, really tilt the pelvis. Squeeze your cheeks together. Even though one leg is not working, still squeeze them. Less than 30 seconds, you can do this, come on. Beautiful, see if you can lift an inch higher if that's suitable for you, 20 seconds. That means it goes into your back, ignore that. Ignore lifting. <laughs> Don't ignore your back. <laughs> 10 seconds. Breathe. You can do it. Come on. You have five. Stay in the fight. Come on. Three, two, lower down. Woo. Bring those knees out nice and wide. Let's do a little side to side rock. Loosen up that lumbar spine a little bit. We are going into single leg deadlifts. Like I said, at the beginning, we don't need heavy weight. We're working one side for one minute. That being said, if you don't have great balance, I'm gonna show you a modification. So, <clears throat> one, you also don't need weight, okay? Weight is an option, always just an option. So, the movement for one minute, if we're standing on the left leg, the weight is in the right hand, right leg is gonna go back. We actually never stand up. 
So we're always in a hip hinge. We're gonna lower to about mid shin and then squeeze and we lower and we squeeze. So we're not going to the floor and all the way back up. It's a half range. If balance is an issue, back foot stays on the floor. Same idea, we're in a hip hinge. We lower, we come up. We lower and we come up. This is a posted position. Posted is fine. All right, ready to go? One minute on our first leg. That's a long time active shoulder. We take off in three, in two, here we go. All right, active position. Shoulder stays active. We're never standing all the way up. Hips are square, belly is pulled in. Thing that's probably gonna fatigue first is the front of the shin of the foot you're standing on. When it fatigues, you're gonna struggle with your balance. Feel free to go into the posted position. It still works. It's not cheating, it's not discounting yourself. It's allowing you to stay in the exercise and still find support. External rotation of that standing leg, pull the shoulder back. We've got about 10 seconds left. Come on. Four, three, two, whoa. Damn. <laughs> Switch sides. Woo. Three, two, here we go. So we're in that half range. Hips are square. About mid shin and pull. External rotation. Belly stays pulled in. Dip and pull. Dip and pull. So, so strong. Hips are square. Belly is active. Back is nice and long. There's no rounding forward. Lost my balance. It happens. Come on. Squeeze and lift. 20. Come on. Beautiful work. Stay in it. We've got 10. Come on. Live for eight. Live for six. Nice work. We have four. Three. Two. Oh, damn. I will be switching to posted on that. We're on our backs. Going into scissor kicks. Three, two, one. Okay, head is lifted. You're gonna open the legs and cross. Open and cross. If this position with the legs is fine for you, stay here. If you don't feel challenged, start to lower them towards the floor. You're opening and squeezing. I want a bigger open, tight squeeze. Bigger open, tight squeeze. Squeezing in your thighs, supporting the head if you need to. Core pulls in. 30 seconds. You're doing great. Come on, squeeze and squeeze. Turn the toes out. Come on, 20 seconds. Very good, come on. 15. Squeeze and squeeze. It's like a bounce and squeeze. Good, come on. Five, four, three, two. Excellent. All right. We're doing side plank. Whew, I'm tired. We are holding for 30 seconds and rotating. In our step, go ahead, come on up. Clock is on, that was a poor cue on my part. Sorry about that. So push tall through your shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs. I have my feet split. You don't have to have your feet split. You also can put that bottom knee down if you need to. You're great. You've got about eight seconds left. Clock stays running. Set yourself up on that other side. Beautiful. Three, two, other side. You can simply rotate. Okay, stack the shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs. You got 20 seconds left right here. Push really tall through that base arm. 15. We'll get a little 10 second break. 
before we start back up with that single leg deadlift. Go to the posted position if you need to. I will be. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work. All right, not much time. Getting ready. Remember, you don't have to do it weighted either. We go in three, two, here we go. So active range. When I fatigue, which might be about halfway through, I'm gonna put that back leg down. Still working the same muscle groups though. External rotation, pull the shoulder back. If you're on that left leg, the weight is in the right hand. You're pulling the right shoulder back. 30 seconds remain. Core stays active. Back is nice and long. Head is neutral. 20 seconds. I'm going to post it. Woo! Just as good. Oh yeah. We have 10. Woo! Such a burn. You got it. Four, three, two, and one. That's almost a joke, it's so hard. <laughs> All right, get ready. Four, three, two, here we go. Active range, working that range as long as you can. I feel like this second side gets like phantom pains, like it knows what's coming. So it starts to ache a little bit sooner. Squeeze and lift. Left shoulder, if the weight is in the left, left side, left shoulder pulls back. It's nice and active the entire time. 30 seconds. Come on. So, so good. You've got 20. Hips are square. You've got 15. I'm going to posted. Oh, I think posted is worse. <laughs> Seven. Come on, five. Woo! Three, two, and one. Damn. Wow. Scissors. That's brutal. All right, here we go. Open big squeeze. Open big squeeze. Turn the toes out. Squeeze inner thighs nice and strong and tight. Looking at your core, it's active and it's pulling in. Squeeze and squeeze. Sometimes we do jump crossovers like this and this is the squeeze that we're looking for. You ever see ballet dancers squeeze so tight? That's what we want, squeeze and squeeze about 20 seconds. Open big squeeze, big and squeeze. 15, come on, 10. We have six, we have four, so good. Three, two, one, get ready for your side plank. And again, 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other, and five, Three, two, here we go. We're lifted, clock is running. Shoulders are stacked. You're pushing so, so tall and strong. Belly pulls in. Inner thighs are squeezing tight. You have less than 15 seconds, quick transition. Simply rotate to the other side. In five, in four, Three, two, rotate. Clock stays running. We're up. Beautiful work. Squeeze. Glutes are tight. Legs are straight. If your legs aren't straight, straighten them out. There we go. 14 seconds. Push tall. 10. You got it. Come on. We have five. We have four. Three, two, and one. Okay, final time of our single leg deadlifts. Going where you need to go. 
Take it off in two. Here we go. Shoulders active, half range. Keep the knee back. It's more of a hip hinge than anything else. Hips are square, core is really tight. Come on. Squeeze and lift. External rotation. Come on. Let it burn out. 20 seconds. Breathe. Shoulders active. Don't let it hang towards the floor. You've got 12 seconds. You can do this. Come on. My God. Come on. Oh boy. Five. Three. Two. Oh, one. Nice work. Get ready. Final side. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Take it one rep at a time. Hips are square, shoulder active, back stays nice and long. Breathe. Come on, squeeze and lift. Use that glute, come on. External rotation. Back is supported by a super strong and turned on core. 19 seconds. Come on. Hip square. You got it. 10. Come on. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, ugh, 1. Damn. Scissors. Ugh. Get ready. Final time on these. 3, 2, go. Core is active, legs are straight. Lower core pulls up, TVA is fully wrapped. I just played around with a faster tempo. I personally think I feel a little bit more when I open big and then squeeze. Again, experiment. Where do you feel it more? Specifically, we're looking to Stay active in the core, and then light up our inner thighs. 20 seconds. Almost, come on. So, so good. 10, squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. We have four, three, two, one. Woo! Side plank, 10 seconds, here we go. Workout was almost done. Four, three, two, we're on strong and solid. Hips are stacked. You're pushing tall through that base shoulder, regardless of whether or not you're on the palm or your forearm. You're breathing. Quick reminder, tomorrow morning I'm teaching 7 a.m. for Mecca. That is a different login. If that's something you're interested in, go to their website, you can sign up. I will still be teaching at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. will be hit, plyometrics, weights, full body blast, switch sides. Squeeze in your thighs, squeeze your butt. Lift the hips. Staying strong. Beautiful work. Push, push, push. Squeeze and lift. We're going four, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, so to finish us off, we are going to do, you need a small weight. I'd say somewhere between five to 10 pounds. If your knees are sensitive, you're gonna to wanna to pad underneath the knee. We are finishing with just isolated glute work, specifically glute, 
lifts and then pulses. We'll place the weight right behind our knee. We'll be doing one minute of the lifts and then a treacherous one minute of pulses. This will bring us right to the end. All right. Just so you know, I'm going to be starting with a 10 pounder. I don't know if that's how I'll stay. We'll extend the leg, put the weight right behind your leg. Bend the knee, pulling the weight in. All right. I like to do these down on my forearms. You could do it up on the palms. We're going to lift, tapping the knee to the floor and lifting in three, two, here we go. So it's a lift, bring it back down. We are not putting it into the low back. So we're bracing our core. Very, very good. Hips stay square. Nice work. Squeeze and lift. So, so good. We're being pretty daredevilish here, saying that we're gonna pulse for a minute. We're gonna see how that goes. No, we're not gonna say we're committed to that for multiple rounds. We're gonna see. You're already over 30 seconds in. Full range of motion, knee touches the floor, and then you squeeze and lift. Touch, squeeze and lift, bracing your core, feeling a little bit of a crunch type motion each time. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go into our pulses. In four, in three, two, stay lifted and we pulse. There's no way we're doing a minute. <laughs> We'll say 30 seconds, so we've got 20 seconds left. Hips stay square. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Come on, stay active. You've got 12 seconds, you can do this, come on. Squeeze and lift, get that pulsing. See so if you can get your knee to hip height. You've got five, four, three, two. Rest, holy shit. <laughs> Woo, that was great. All right, so it's still one minute of lifts on the other side but then only 30 seconds of pulse. Squeeze it behind the leg. We take off in three, two, here we go. We lift, tap it back down. If you're losing your weight, it's because you're opening up your leg. You gotta keep that leg at a 90 degree angle. Exhale and lift, inhale down. Exhale and lift, inhale down. Core is so active. Hips are square. Nice work, everyone. You've got 30 seconds left. Again, we'll pulse for 30. Beautiful work. Come on, squeeze and lift. Hips are square. 15. Breathe, exhale as you lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Six more seconds, we'll stay up and we'll start to pulse in three, two, here we go with pulse. Little tiny lifts. Glutes are on for sure. Oh yeah, come on. We've got 20 seconds remaining. Little lifts, so strong, 15. Core is active, hips are square. Don't get sloppy, we're almost there. Five, three, two, rest. Woo! Take a breather. Checking the time. Uh, we're gonna go through just one more time. We will not do three rounds, so just one more. Whew. Set up on that first side. This will be it for us. You've done a fantastic job. Okay, first side, you're set and ready to go. Squeeze the weight behind the knee. Here we go, clock is on. We lift and lower. Again, if you're losing your weight, it's because you're opening up your leg. Gently tap the knee to the floor. Smooth, strong lift. Back is as flat as can be. Nice work. Just over 30 seconds left. We'll have to pulse on this side, and then this side is done. 
Send it love. Send your body love right now. It's doing so much for you. Carries you through your day. Allows you to do all the fun things. 15 seconds. Come on. Oh, there's the burn. You've got eight more seconds. We've got 30 seconds of pulsing. In four, three, two, we pulse. Stay lifted. Trying to get that knee to a round hip height. Little tiny lifts and lift, lift, lift. Come on. 20 seconds. Come on, you got this. Stay strong. Hips are square. 15. Oh, yeah. Come on. We've got eight. Belly is tight. Don't put it into your back. Four, three, two, one. Oh, God. <laughs> How bad is it that your instructor dies as well? Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. All right. Other side. Squeeze it. We roll in three, two, here we go. Belly is tight. Push tall through your shoulders. You have not collapsed into that joint. Very good. Squeeze and lift. Exhale as you lift, inhale down. Strong exhale, contract your core. As you lift the leg, core stays tight. That will enhance what's happening in your glute. Come on, less than 30. Don't shy away. Stay in it, 20 seconds. So strong, come on. You have 15. We're gonna pulse in 10. They'll be the best pulses you've ever done. <laughs> Come on, we've got five. <laughs> Four, three, two, we pulse. Oh, me, oh my. Come on, stay in it. You're breathing. 20 seconds, hips are square. Keep that weight behind the knee. Leg stays at a 90 degree angle. You're almost there, 10. Push, come on. Five. We have three. Two. Ugh. One. My God. That was brutal. Nice work. Get the weight out of the way. We are just going to stretch. Oh my God. That hurts. It's a good hurt, but it hurts. We got one minute. We're going to cross. It might be a little too intense. If it's too intense, extend that bottom leg out. We did just really work them. If it's not too intense, you can kind of get in nice and small. Throughout your day, you might want to go into this stretch. We really did just kind of blast your butt. So ideally, it's important for you to know, these exercises, everything that we did today, is not necessarily, we're gonna switch, is not necessarily going to produce pure strength or size. But what it will do is if you pair that with strength training, so weighted squats, even body weight, body weight is weight, if you pair that with strength training, you are then utilizing the muscle correctly, you will then get the gains. So right now, this is just work to try to fine tune that neuromuscular involvement. Let's extend the legs, reach for the toes. Pair that with strength training you will see a difference in size and overall strength. Okay, not saying you won't feel that with this, but if you're looking for that next bump, it would be with some weights. Nice work. All right, I wanna get you out of here on time, so thank you so much for joining. Again, this will be saved to YouTube. It'll be available this afternoon. Amazing work, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.